think the song was actually Orinoco Flow. Oh, okay, Not Sail Away. <laughs> sail Away was one of the lines. Sail Away, Sail Away. Oh, sorry. My mother walked in here now and saw I have my feet up on the couch like this. She said, get your feet off the feckin' couch. <laughs> here from MJB Seminars where you liberate, you empower and you inspire yourself to be the greatest example of your creation. Now have you ever found yourself in your life, like me sometimes, feeling as if, you know what, I can't get this right, I've been working at this for such a long time, I'm working at this job for such a long time, or I'm working at this idea for such a long time, or I'm working at my body for such a long time, and you feel as if, you know, you just can't get it right. And sometimes you feel as if, you know, why don't I just give it all away, why don't I just throw it all out and just get rid of it. Now, the truth about it is, is that there are three common treads or, or, or traits to a true professional. The first one is, is that a true professional, guys, understands that they care enough. They care enough about their art or they care enough about their skill that, you know, they know they just want to give it over and above. They just want to deliver to the world inspiration. And they care enough to make sure that they want to make sure that what is received by the world is something that they have perfected. So a true professional knows that you have to truly, truly care about what you do. And you have to feel as if what you're delivering to the world is going to inspire them and, and eventually be able to give you some sort of sense of a result. The second one is, is that a true professional will never, ever give up. Even when, every time they get it right, you know, they just want to get it even more right. They just want to perfect it even more. They just want to become, you know, a real true artist at what they do and really be recognized for what it is that they do. And then finally, a true professional knows that there is no end game. You know, that they actually see themselves beyond their lifetime. They see themselves and they know that, you know, in whatever it is they're bringing to the world that they're going to be remembered for it. Because remember guys, when you leave here, we all know that we're judged for what it is we did while we were here. And we're remembered for the effect that we've had on the world. So every single human being has a hidden desire inside, inside of them to be remembered for leaving some sort of legacy and being remembered for what it is that they brought to the world. You know, I have a really cool story about my childhood. When I, when I was young, I grew up and I, I was... I was there to witness the, the emergence of a, of a real professional and a true star. And I remember there was a young girl lived around the corner from me. Her name was Ebony. She was a year younger than me. We became very close friends. Her father was a bit strange. He worked out, he, he worked from home, not like any of the other fathers when I was being raised. He worked from home in what they called a studio, which was a room at the back of their house. It had rickety, you know, rickety old windows with smashed glass with wallpaper over them. And, you know, I remember they were always in this room called the studio. And he was always trying to perfect things. And I, you know, I knew there was music involved. And I used to see musos coming in and out of the house with different instruments. And this went on for years and years and years, all of my childhood, literally all of my childhood. At the age of nine, there was a woman moved into the house. She was very beautiful. She was from Northern Ireland, um, and her name was Enya. She spoke very softly. She was pale white skin, jet black hair. She was about five foot one, an absolute angel, a really extraordinary looking woman. And I remember um, for a little while there, she used to teach me piano. Not that I'm very good at piano, but she used to teach me piano. But uh, for years, th this, these people were just always in the studio, you know, they were always trying to perfect things, they were always trying to get it right and perfect it, and I used to watch equipment coming in and out, you know, better equipment, and they were always, you know, redoing the studio, reorganizing it, getting it better and better and better. And then I remember one day, I walked around the corner uh, to, to Ebony's house, and I jumped the wall, there was a huge big bouquet of flowers, and in the top of that bouquet of flowers was a, a card from a man named Chris de Burg, um, who's a very famous uh, European singer, and those of you that are a little bit older than the young ones, uh, will remember this guy, Chris de Burg. And it said, congratulations, Nick Roma and Enya. And um, Enya, Enya was Enya Nivrinon, and the song Sail Away had gone to number one in the UK charts uh, from the album uh, Watermark. And I, you know, the last time I saw them, Enya was receiving a, an Academy Award for, for the music from Lord of the Rings. Now, I was raised with these people, and th there was a couple of things, like I shared, there was a couple of things that I learned, but one of the, the most important things that I learned from that whole experience there was that you know n never to give up you, you know there was no end game you, you know they just uh, they were real professionals they understood that uh, they, their objective was to hone their art and just get better and better and better in the face of adversity because things were tough 
you know, when I was growing up in, in, in Dublin, Ireland. So I want you to tell me something this week. I want you to do something for me. In the comments section, I want you to drop in there something that you're working on. I want you to tell me some sort of um, skill or ability that you're trying to hone that you're, you know, you might have felt like you wanted to give up at some stage or it's good, something that you're working on that you feel as if you're just about there, you're just about to make it, it's just about to happen for you. And I want to share you, I want you to share that with me and everybody else on that particular comment section and in that forum. On top of this, guys, if you know someone in your life that is, a, you know, is feeling like, you know, they're just about to make it, they're just about to get there, or it could be someone that you feel, you know, has this dream but it's crashing down on top of them, or it could even be a brother, a, a friend, whoever it is, please feel free to flick this forward or share it with them on Facebook or tweet it. Remember, guys, live life inspired. Love is the only way. Love is all there is. Take care. Bye-bye.